I thought today we'd talk about electricity, in particular AC and DC. And what I've got here is your standard AC transformer. Now as you look here, you can see it says input 120 volts, 60 hertz. That's the standard voltage and frequency for the United States. Output 12 volts, half amp. Well, that output is still AC. The only thing this transformer does is step down the voltage. This is a step down transformer. So over here on the primary side where you can see the black and the white wires, this is where the voltage comes in from the wall outlet. And then over here is the secondary side where it outputs the reduced voltage. So we're going to talk about the AC and DC waveforms and how to change AC into DC and make it useful for our little electronic projects. Because as it stands right now, the voltage that comes out of this transformer is not very useful for us for our Arduino projects and simple little electronic projects and it's deadly even at 12 volts 12 volts at a half an amp will kill you so let's start by taking our transformer and plugging it into the breadboard All right, so what we have here is the AC voltage of 12 volts, which is producing a sine wave. Now, if you look down here at the bottom of the screen here in the corner, I'm going to hook the oscilloscope probes up and let's take a look at the sine wave. Now, you see how the wave travels above and below the center line. It does this 60 times a second, that's 60 hertz. So for half a second, or for half of the cycle, the wave is positive, and for the other half, it's negative. And we can't really use the negative half. So what we have to do is what's called rectification. And the easiest rectification, the most simple, is to take a single diode, in this case 1N4007, from either half of the trans, uh, transformer output, it doesn't matter, and we run that up to our positive rail. And then we're going to take the other rail, or the other side of our output here, and drop it down to the negative rail. All right. So now I'm going to hook up my probes over here and let's take a look at this. Now you see how the wave is completely positive, but we have that long flat bottom area where it's putting out basically zero voltage. This is called half wave rectification. And while it is DC voltage, it is not very efficient. So. What we're going to do now is what's called full wave rectification. So instead of one of these diodes, we are going to use four of the diodes. And we are going to arrange them 
like this. And I'll explain to you here in a second, as soon as I get them all in, what's going on. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. Whoa, didn't want to focus there. All right, so this is the standard bridge rectifier for diodes. Now let's zoom out, or actually, I will just move our transformer in here a little bit closer so you can see what's up. So I'm going to take one side of our transformer output and I'm going to plug it in here. And then I'll take the other side of our transformer output and I will plug it in here. All right. So basically these two sides of our AC output are plugged in at the junction of these two diodes and the other half is plugged in at the junction of these two diodes. And now we can take the junction of these two diodes and bring it up to the positive rail. and the junction of these two diodes and bring it to the negative rail. So let me zoom out here a little. So here's how this works. In one half of the cycle, when this side is positive and it flows into here, this diode takes the positive voltage and sends it up to the positive rail. This diode blocks it from coming this way and this diode blocks it from heading to the negative rail. Now in the other half cycle, when this one is now negative and this one is positive, the voltage comes in here and this diode sends it to the positive rail, whereas this diode blocks it from the negative rail and this diode blocks it from coming over here to this one. So now we have what's called full wave rectification. Let me zoom out just a little bit more. And we're going to add a capacitor. The capacitor will smooth out any transitions from the negative to the positive and the positive to the negative. So with that, we get a smoother output wave with le less <laughs> of what's called ripple. And then I'm just going to take a 1K resistor, plug it in here. And then we're going to put in an LED as just a uh, visual on indicator. And we'll plug that in right here. And let's power up our transformer and if nothing goes boom you see we have a nice solid LED 
it's getting a nice flat DC current, which if you look over here in the corner, you can now see on the trace from the scope. Pretty cool, isn't it? Well, I hope you like this quick little explanation of AC, DC, and rectification. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, uh, share it, feel free to comment. Don't forget the giveaway on St. Patrick's Day. We are giving away an Arduino Zero. To enter, you just need to be a subscriber. So if you haven't subscribed yet, there's no time like the presents. Or present. To get presents. Yeah. Thanks for watching.